young spring guys. thing ends. How do you, I think, uh, how do you feel flowers, individual? How do you think really the offense looks? For us. Mm, and, uh, I think, you know, we're coming in the fun. Um, I think early. I'm doing okay. Uh, I mean, I still got a lot of things to play, but uh, it's getting better every right. day. The and quarterbacks the obviously have, quarterbacks have a bonus opportunity uh, here to get reps while, while Steven is making his way back. I don't think Dallas is going to you know, they know what I'm really pushing those guys down. Steven's been a leader, you know, just because he's not, you know, dressed out and still being a leader. So, you know, those guys are coming along real, you know, growing up fast. You know, it's tough coming in, you know, it's what we've been in high school. You know, you know just kind of walk out of years, so, uh, you know, I'm just proud of those guys and I'm, you know, commending them on their work. Chick told me last week that that Ryan uh, the Ryan Lager scout team quarterback like last year and that he's a hundred times there. better now than he was uh, then. What do you see in him specifically? Because obviously he's going to provide competition with Steven for this quarterback spot. Yeah, I mean, uh, Ryan is just confidence is, uh, is very high right now. I mean, uh, he's working at a high level. He's playing at a high level. I mean, he's doing all the things we need to step in and, you know, make competition at the quarterback spot. You know, so he's doing a job. How about on the defensive side of the ball? Denzel's now your middle linebacker. And what have you seen out of him and some of the guys on that side? Uh, Denzel's a great player. I mean, he's, he's physical. He's tough. He's smart. He's got a lot of instinct. He reminds me a lot of Sean Spence. You know, just uh. So, uh, you know, he's doing a great job, you know, I'm happy to see him at hard defense. I feel like he's a great player, he's going to do a lot for us. What's the most important thing for you guys to accomplish with the spring game and no practice is coming after for a while? Uh, just, you know, to finish out on a good note, you know, to finish out strong, you know, to, to hit all our keys, hit all our assignments, you know, to play good football. Ended out well. How do you think the spring as a whole has gone, just from from each scrimmage to each practice, from start to now? Yeah, I think, um, I think, I think it's going well. I mean, and God got us, you know, adjusted to you know different things that we had got going the, uh, on, and uh, you know, I think we're doing a good job at you know learning how to practice, learning how to play fast, learning how to be physical. So, uh, you know, spring's going well. Spring's going well. Uh, Thoughts on the, now you know, the offensive you know, line, just how they're coming together and contact, blocking for you. Oh, they're doing a great right job. Now. I mean, our, our uh, clinic, nothing could be done we'll without them, you know, uh, you know, with leading uh, by Brandon really Linder and, uh, at, you know, Michael Bunch and Trail, you know, and McDermott, you know, and those guys, you know, they just doing a great job, you know, I mean, they open up holes and I can ask them what more. Being in Jed Fish's system for year two now, just how much is that helping the offense just get comfortable in that system? It's a great system for me. We start to make it you know, our own you now. Feel I mean, you know, the coach has did a great job, you know, you know, teaching us it, you know, showing us how to, you know, loopholes, you know, how to, you know, convert and things like that. I mean, it's going to be a great, it's going to be great to see, you know, what we can do with the year two because we know it's a lot better now. It's tough to, to not have had Steven so I think the, you know, doing Michael reps this spring, but now he's out throwing, and your coach said if there was a game tomorrow, he could you know, potentially play. What does it mean so to see him out there throwing the ball now? I mean, it's good. It's just a relief, you know. It's good to see, you know, now we got two solid guys at quarterback, two older guys. You know, and Steven's back. Steven's doing a lot of good things, you know. So, you know, it's just real. It's just a relief to see. How much fun are you having just being the number one running back right now? Definitely. It's good. We're having fun. I mean, I always enjoy playing the game. You know, uh, but you know, it's just, uh, uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is, you know, just taking it, taking it as a blessing, doing it how to do to succeed, and you know, trying to so, um, become the best I can. Is there an area you feel like you definitely uh, improved this spring? Uh, I would have to say, uh, you know, uh, being able to, being able to make one cut and make make a play, you know, that's something I always want to work on, you know, I just want to be able to bring that aspect to my game, you know, to be able to hit a home run every now and then. So, uh, you know, I feel like I improved on uh, that. I think it's going to be like a true game. Before the spring, Coach Swayze highlighted you as a guy who's one of the best guys in the weight room. Wherever, yeah. I guess, you know, uh, you you know, how, how important is being in the weight room to you? Oh, it's, it's, it's very important. I mean, um, you know, the stronger you are, you know, the less injuries, the less things you got to worry about. You know, I, I, take, I take pride in everything I do. I mean, anybody who knows me knows that. And the weight room is one of them. You know, I do everything I can to get strong and fast these days. I mean, you know, I enjoy the process, you know, and uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity to just be in there with Swayze and, and, and so much of knowledge I can. Is it fun? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. I mean, even in my all time, you know, I go talk to Coach Swayze, you know, go conversate with him, you know, learn life, with, learn, learn life lessons, you know, he's just like a father to me. You know, so, uh, you know, you know, he take me upon his wing and show me all the things he knows. What are some of the numbers you put up? This um, well, I got uh, 400 on the bench, uh, 320 on the power clean, 525 on the squat. Just <laughs> with, with Stephen kind of being back a little bit more, you know, he's wearing a jersey. Yeah. 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 Has that lifted the morale of the offense? Just you guys seeing his progress. And yeah. Not that you're d not happy with the other guys, but just to see him kind of making progress. Is that lifted your spirits a little bit? You know, um, like I said, uh, it's just a sense of relief to see him back. You know, we have to see him back, but the morale's always been up. Ryan's doing a great job keeping the guys going. 
you know, and uh, so is the other leaders on the team. And seeing Stephen back is giving those sense of relief, you know, that he's coming back and he's doing better, you know, because we care about him more as a person than we do, you know, as a player. I'm sure you had the feel for him, though, where you guys were out there and he's got a whistle around his neck that you could probably tell he was hungry to. to yeah, yeah, most definitely. I mean, Steve is a competitor, you know, you know, anybody who, you know, played his game should feel the way about the crowd, you know. But, um, you know, Steve, Steve is going to be Steve, Steve is all right, Steve is doing a good job, you know, so, uh, you know, I'm just happy to see him back. What's the biggest wow. difference in this team Dallas? from last spring yeah. to this spring? Yeah. Uh, just, uh, you know, our physical nature. You know, we're learning how to hit people, how to do it the right way. You know, I don't know play fast, you know, be able to finish games and finish plays. You know, that's the biggest difference. Appreciate it, Mike. All right, no problem.